A 29- and 27-year-old man were taken into police custody at City Hall in the middle of a heated debate over a bill that would require a mandatory one-year sentence for people with illegally possessed guns. Please, ladies and gentlemen. The melee had people falling to the floor, some upset, feeling they were being passed up during the public hearing. Although not as physical, the debate over the proposal was also hot. Police Commissioner Kevin Davis is a lead supporter, citing stats on repeat gun offenders given short jail sentences who then go on to commit murder. I've spoken to people like you all have around Baltimore who are shocked that the simple illegal possession of a handgun, which in our city is an act of pre-murder, is a misdemeanor offense. But on the other side, opponents raise issues about racial disparities. Some members of the council leery of all mandatory minimums, period. We need to see a complete and comprehensive violence reduction strategy before even considering something like this that we know historically doesn't work. We've been there. We've seen it across the country that mandatory minimums don't work. Amendments that limit enforcement to second offenders and guns used in connections with crimes ease some concerns eventually passing in committee by a wide margin. It's a tool uh, for the state's attorney to use uh, in order to get those uh, folks that are carrying illegal weapons off the street. Now the city does say that prosecutors would still have some discretion under the bill. However, the city state's attorney's office did not provide any testimony during the hearing. A second reading is scheduled to take place in a couple of weeks. Live at City Hall tonight, Adam May, WBAL-TV 11 News. Adam.